Today I thought we'd talk about wolf dog puppy socialization. What you need to know, why it's important. How important is socialization? It's very important because your wolf dog puppy is going to need to get out and get around humans. Our wolves are very neophobic by nature. That is, they're very afraid of new things and they're very afraid of people. They have an innate fear of humans that has to be brought out of them. Your regular puppy needs to be socialized too, but it's a lot more intense with a wolf dog puppy and the intensity just goes up depending on the level of wolf that you have in your puppy as well as you know how he was bred and um, his temperament and that kind of thing. But you always have to socialize them and it takes a lot of time. Generally wolf dogs that are mostly wolf, that is they have over 50% wolf content, are usually pulled from the mothers at about two weeks and they are bottle fed. Isn't that kind of mean? Why do that? No, it's not really mean because you know your wolf dog is going to live maybe 8 to 14, sometimes 16 years of age and he's going to be miserable if he's fearful of every little thing involving humans. So no, it's not mean when you consider the long range repercussions. This is also done in many zoos and wolf research centers as well, mainly so they can interact with the handlers, but also so they don't have to put them to sleep every time the vet comes to visit. The puppy needs to be seeing people and being handled by humans as quickly as possible. You don't want to put them down in a pet store floor where they can pick up a disease before they get vaccinated, but you need to get them around people. Uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, parks, places like that where you, you see lots of people and if people want to pet them, they can. Like I said before, wolf dogs are generally very neophobic as are wolves and they need to be around new things and new people. Once they get vaccinated though you can start taking them to places where they can get out and actually walk around. You also need to be getting your puppy exposed to other dogs as well. Some people take their wolf dog puppies to dog parks, but other people think dog parks are horrible, so it's just kind of something you're going to have to weigh the good and the bad and decide for yourself. But aren't all wolf dogs aggressive with other dogs? Ah, good question there, AI man. Usually wolf dog puppies are submissive till they're about one and a half to two years of age. That's just how they're programmed. But it all depends on the wolf content because you know a dog the dog side may be different from the wolf side and the dog side may take over you can usually tell though pretty quick how your dog's going to react when you take him up to the dog park um he'll either wag his tail and get low to the ground or he'll growl and show his teeth I took Luna here up to the dog park quite a bit after she got vaccinated until she was about a year and a half and then after that she wasn't quite so submissive with every single dog that came up to her so I quit taking her. It's important to remember that your dog will be judged more harshly if it has wolf by other people. That's just how it is. Whether your dog was being aggressive or not, the wolf dog will get the blame. I've also taken Silas here to the dog park on several occasions and he does real well. We have not taken Bear because of his high content level of wolf. We just don't feel like he would be very comfortable at all. Plus his natural temperament is a bit more shy and skittish. Sometimes we even take Luna and let her be the guide dog. We do this and we will continue to do this every single day till they're about a year old. With COVID, it has been very tricky this year getting the pups socialized. 
but it is something that is essential to wolf dog ownership so we get out and do it if you like this video and you want to learn more about wolves and wolf dogs please hit the like button and subscribe thanks